My name is Ron Haviv, and I'm a photographer and one of the co-founders of the Seven Photo Agency. And over the course of my career, for the last 20 years or so, I've been dedicated to documenting conflict and post-conflict situations. So both in terms of going to war and then, more importantly, the effects of war on civilians and the way that life continues after the last bullet has been fired. I really try uh, to be able to build a relationship with the viewer through the way I see things. And so whether it's shooting through something or having something in the foreground blown out and then bringing you to a certain part of the image that I want you to engage with, these are all super conscious efforts and by having the right tools to be able to do that it makes everything so much easier. Pretty much since the day it came out I've been a dedicated user to the Canon 5D Mark II and that is for my digital photography the primary camera that I've been using. The combination of the ability to do video, the amazing uh, file size and, and the palette, the color palette that you're able to get out of it was just tremendous. I'm pretty much always using two Canon 5Ds. One has a 24-70 to 2.8 L lens and the other has the 50 1.2 L lens. With the 24-70 I'm generally between 28 to 50. I'm rarely going to 24 and rarely going to 70 but it's nice to have the ability to do so especially in new situations, especially at a front line where things are changing very quickly. In Haiti, post-earthquake was extremely chaotic. And there was one scene where people were fleeing the city because they were afraid uh, because of all the aftershocks that were going on. And so I went to the bus station where people were gathering and a few buses would pull up and there would be sort of mini riots as people were trying to get onto the bus. And having the 24 to 70 where all of a sudden, you know, you're next to somebody, you have to rack back or kind of moving around, like having that versatility was extremely helpful. And probably the strongest image that I took that day was a scene of, of limbs, of people basically crawling through the windows of the bus to get on the bus so they can get out of town. And even though you don't see anybody's faces, you really feel the desperation that these people had and their, their desire to survive and get away from the epicenter of, of the earthquake as, as fast and as far away as possible. I was basically shooting from below, shooting up at them, and I needed to go wide enough. I think probably the image was shot at, uh, at a 28, and you know, it was very helpful to be able to, you know, to have that versatility there. Earlier this year in, in Egypt, during, um, during the overthrow of Mubarak, as well, dealing with uh, crowds, very tight situations, where all of a sudden you would want to do a shot of somebody you know, 20 feet away, and then all of a sudden it's a photograph of somebody you know, 10 feet away. And so, again, having the 24 to 70, being able to shoot with that was extremely important. So there's, uh, I think one of my images that I really liked is of a man with, with a flag and standing in front of a tank and kind of being able to, to compose that or silhouette uh, of, of people with the Egyptian flag as they were protesting. I mean, I think that those images um, come across really well because I was able to obviously, you know, capture them in, in a way that was enabled by, by the gear. And then when I switch to the 51.2, it's very specific uh, situations where I'm really trying to use the, the wide open aperture to create a very specific mood that that lens gives me the ability to do so. Especially when you're shooting between 1.2 and 2.2, it's a really beautiful way to look at things. I think it, it creates some sort of feeling of green and it creates a very different palette. It's hard to describe, but when I compare images that I shoot with a 51.2 versus when I'm shooting at 50 on the 24 to 70, you can really tell the difference. It's very much the way that the human eye sees and, and to be able to fill the frame in a way that is visually interesting with that lens. When it works, it really works. One of my favorite pictures from the Amazon where I did a story on, on illegal gold mining was a photograph of uh, a couple on a motorcycle traveling through what looks like a desert. And I shot it through a crack in the boards of a building. And by shooting at a very wide aperture, I just kind of blow it out to the point where you don't really know what you're looking at. And you see this couple on a motorcycle going through a desert, which turns out used to be pristine rainforest until the gold miners came to town. So it's a very powerful image in sort of talking about the subject. It's very moody because of the blue. And the lens is, is a huge, huge contributor to creating that mood that exists in that photograph. I think that we all have our different choices, our different favorites, our different lenses that help us tell the story we want to tell the story. And I just fell in love with the 50 and, and I'm trying to increase my usage of it and try to figure out ways to be able to communicate with it because I think that the lens offers me the ability to tell things a little bit differently in my way.
The reason that I do this, and I think that the other photographers at Seven do this, is the idea of communication. The idea to affect change, to have something positive on people's lives, to inform. Digital technology, the cameras that we're using today, are the necessary tools that allow us to get our work out there. Without them, everything would be slowed down. Without them, we would be limited in so many ways. The ability to, in the field, to pop a card into a computer, connect it to a sat phone, and send the photograph out in five minutes is amazing. What we had to do before when I was shooting film, to put film on an airplane and for it to go somewhere else and then get processed and then get distributed and take time and time and time. We can do that now in literally 10 minutes is all a result of this amazing technology that's come out especially from these cameras. That's the heart of all of it. And that ability for us to be able to communicate with our audience this way and have the tools to do so is, is, is a dream come true for us as photographers.